Hello crafters! Welcome to Getting Crafty for November 2021. Brought to you by Salem Public Library in Salem, Ohio. This crafting, we're going to make holiday gift card holders. We're going to make two of them. So join in the fun with this project from Salem Public Library. If you live near the library, you are welcome to pick up a kit of materials beginning November 8th, 2021, and they will be available while supplies last. Let's get started. So you will need these tools or supplies for the craft. You'll need craft glue, two-sided craft tape, and scissors. For gift card holder one, here are the instructions. Basically, the shape of this gift card holder is the same as the library book holders used in library books in the past. The pattern has been cut out of holiday paper, and the places you will fold the cut to and the places you will fold the cutout have perforated lines. Here's an example of the perforated lines. Fold the cutout along the perforated lines inward to the inside of the cutout. And fold these narrow little side uh, pieces inward towards the white. And when you've done that, place double-sided tape or glue along the printed side of the folded papers. Don't put it on the inside there. You don't want those stuck to the white paper. You want that uh, you because you're going to make a fold that those attach to. Next, fold the card to stick together the edges that have tape and glue and press them together with the uh, as you see, the, that large piece folded over there. Your card should look folded and glued like the one in the folder. Next, find the two decorative cutouts in the kit. You will glue the two together by carefully placing glue on the back of the bow's ribbon ends and glue the back of the bow to the front of the cardstock cutout. You see how it is in the picture, the, that's the back of the bow, and it's, and the ends of the ribbons there are glued to the front of that little rectangle. Now you're looking at the opposite side there. You see where those ribbon ends are glued to that triangle that says, wishing you a very happy holiday. So you fold over the, over the top of the flap of the card to finish making an envelope for the gift card. Glue the bow to the front top edge of the card, being careful not to glue the opening shut until you have placed the gift card inside. So that narrow flap that's folded over on the top of the uh, card or the the little pocket there, uh, you're going to glue that bow to it, but you're not going to glue the whole pocket shut there. And now you see the finished product. You see how the bow is uh, attached to that top flap? And then the little triangles hanging below that, it's attached to the ribbon ends there. And then when you've put the gift card inside, you can glue that shut or tape it shut, whichever you prefer. Now on to gift card holder number two. Place the parts of your gift holder on a flat surface and begin making the item with the cardstock that's been scored for folding. The cardstock that's been scored for scored for folding is uh, 
a solid color as opposed to the decorative colorful papers that are going to be added to it. So you should begin adding pieces of cut paper by starting with the narrow piece of printed paper that fits in the area of the back of the folded card. Match up the semicircle cut out on the card folder to the semicircle found on the narrow piece of printed paper. Then glue the paper to the card or use double sided tape to attach the paper. The section is the pocket for the gift card. When you have finished gluing the decorated paper to that section, you will need to run a fine line of glue or attach double sided tape to the edges of the inside of that uh, folded area there. Uh, including the the like the cream colored or whatever the solid colored is you have to do those sides so that you'll be able to stick that gift card right in that little holder on the next small section on the scored card stock and on the same side as the first paper you added you will glue or attach with double-sided adhesive tape the slender white piece of cardstock. That section is for writing in who the gift card is from. Next, attach the last section of card. Uh, the last, the next, the last section of the card with a piece of the decorated paper that fits that area best. If necessary, you may want to trim it to fit it better in that location. Once you've added the last paper to that side, you can begin finishing the other side of the gift card. And here's the last area you will be decorating. Now turn the cardstock over to decorate the section that closes the card. You will attach your final piece of decorated paper to this section. Once you've attached the decorated paper, you can also attach the stamped cardstock cutout to the section you just added the decorated paper to. You can add this gift card holder to an envelope or attach a string or yarn to it to hang it to a Christmas tree. And there's your second gift card. So great job. Thanks for being a partner in this Getting Crafty for November 2021. Join us in December for another holiday season craft. Can you guess what it might be? Thank you for checking in with Getting Crafty for November. Brought to you by Salem Public Library, Salem, Ohio. Have a happy and safe holiday season. Bye-bye.